seven. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, you know, in Australia, we have more than 35,000 kilometers of coastline. So if we can utilize efficiently the strong and massive coastal uh, wind for the uh, clean energy future, we can solve many, many uh, energy problems uh, what we are facing now. So today my research here is to develop a highly efficient uh, and uh, low cost, lightweight superconductor technology for the next generation offshore wind turbine generator. So with, with this technology, we believe that it will be easier to ship and install the, the wind system in the offshore and also it will be easier to capture the, the, the strongest and the uh, most reliable wind from the offshore to produce electricity uh, at a very reasonable cost. So now I will like to um, give you some idea about uh, the uh, current world energy situation and the potential of wind energy. So now the world predominantly depends on the fossil fuel based non-renewable non energy sources which are running out very soon and uh, becoming increasingly expensive. Uh, so it has been, as a result, it has been predicted that a more than quarter of world population will be without the access to the electricity by 2020. So we don't want to get the situation even worse. So now uh, it, is, it is very crucial time for us to find it out the most affordable and the secured energy sources which has no uh, climate impact. So in this case, um, most, most of the developed countries have already realized that wind power is one of the best possible, uh, best renewable options to, to reduce the fossil fuel based energy sources. And uh, uh, so, uh, so wind energy, yes, this is the fossil fuel uh, energy sources, but the thing is because the wind is clean, it is free, it's available whole day and night without uh, any, any, regardless of any seasons like rainy or sunny days. But it is unfortunate that this wind energy contributes only 1.6% to the total worldwide energy consumption due to the lack of efficient technology development. So we believe that a highly efficient and robust superconductor technology can be uh, one of the best solutions for the effective utilization of massive um, coastal wind from the offshore or from the onshore. So what is superconductor? So superconductivity is a unique property of a material. Uh, when it is cooled down, it has no resistance. So that means a piece of superconducting wire, when it is cool, um, it can, it can uh, carry the current 100 to 1,000 times uh, uh, compared to the conventional copper wire at the same cross-section. So when the device uses this superconductor, it has no power dissipation. So how this superconductor can be used in a wind turbine generator? In a conventional wind generator, you see uh, the most complicated and the, and the heaviest part is the gearbox. So you see the gearbox occupies 38% weight and the uh, space of the machine. And if we can save, if we can uh, uh, remove this, uh, this weight, we can make a lighter generator. So too many, you see that in gearbox, too many uh, bearings, wheels, uh, those weight lubricants makes the gearbox's maintenance cost very high. And also, it is already uh, found some report that the many wind turbines uh, failures actually caused by this gear uh, gearbox. So if we can replace this gearbox with a simple and light superconducting electromagnet, we can dramatically reduce the overall weight and the cost and also increase the reliability and the efficiency.
So how this superconductor actually replaced the gearbox? I just give you a very small de uh, the demonstration of how the super, uh, superconducting electromagnet can uh, replace the gearbox. So this is very simple technique. For example, just think about this is, that is the battery is generator. This is uh, superconducting rotor. The, the, the nail is a shaft. So when, and it is the uh, superconducting stator, for example, this is not just, just to give you an example uh, to how, to how it works. I just, and then stator, I can attach to the superconducting rotor. It, it, it will move, like it can rotate. So that means it actually solves the gearbox, what the gearbox do. So this simple principle, of course, we will do the reverse engineering. So the simple principle, it can uh, make the rotation. So we don't need any kind of gearbox. So are superconductors and superconductor-based generator available in the market? Yes, there are three types of superconducting material, uh, su superconductors currently available in the market. The first type is high temperature superconductor, which is very expensive, rare earth and complex material based. And uh, it is not very easy to manufacture long length of wire. Last 20 years of effort actually didn't reduce the high temperature superconductors, um, uh, uh, the price. The second type is uh, low temperature niobium based superconductor, which is well established in the market, but only the problem is it cannot operate without the liquid helium. And the liquid helium is going to unavailable very soon because, and, 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 and the liquid helium price is increasingly uh, expensive. So that means the third, the, the third superconductor, the third type is the magnesium diboride. This is the simplest and the cheapest material compared to all the superconductor. And it is easy to manufacture more, more than 50 kilometers of wire, which, uh, the length. And more importantly, liquid helium free operation is possible. So far, there are no superconductor based generator actually installed anywhere in the world. But many companies like GE, um, China Teco Westinghouse, Convertim, American Superconductor, they are exploring the 10 megawatt plus uh, offshore uh, uh, the generator for the offshore wind system. But most of their designs are based on the high temperature and low temperature uh, superconductors, which are explained that expensive design option. So now I can give you some uh, comparative study between the conventional gear generator and the superconductor based generator in terms of weight and cost. Uh, we have done these, all this analysis with our industry partner. Uh, so the conventional geared generator, the weight actually three times higher compared to the magnesium diboride generator. And even magnesium diboride, if you consider this generator, 10 megawatt generator, you can uh, did you, uh, the, the weight will be, the weight reduction is around two times. The $20 per meter, the high temperature superconductor cost, which is very high compared to the $1 per meter magnesium diboride based superconductor. To make one 10 megawatt generator, it will require 180 kilometer of wire. That makes the $3.6 million capital investment if you use high temperature superconductor. But in other case, if you use magnesium diboride superconductor, it will be only $180,000. Uh, it's substantial cost savings. So what is the market of this wind power? So there is a potential uh, world market is to install 200 gigawatt of uh, electricity um, in offshore and offshore, offshore wind generator in the next 15 years. So that means in 2030, the 200 gigawatt of power we have to, um, uh, the, the we can get from the uh, wind power. So to produce this 200 gigawatt of power, if we can, if we co consider magnesium diboride based superconductor, it, it can give you that for, uh, for the 10 megawatt offshore generator, if you consider magnesium diboride superconductor, 
it can deliver you the cost uh, reduction uh, from three billion, three hundred billion dollar to only sixty billion dollar, which is a factor of five uh, cost reduction. So another point I, I would like to highlight here. So if you look, if you consider the conventional geared generator, uh, the, uh, so so when you installation in the offshore, you have to consider hundred billion dollar more compared to the land, land base. But the beauty of magnesium diboride superconductor, the land base and offshore, there is no capital investment. So it's a significant benefit. So we have done some work with uh, our industry partner, Hypertech Research, and we are working at Institute for Superconductor and Electronic Materials. And we have done some preliminary work, all these designs of, of uh, designs of the wire and cable and also the restrict coil for this for this project and we have also published some work uh, on the uh, on this project so the wind power has a potential it's no doubt it's clear so if we can the offshore wind energy is is the one of the national priorities in USA and also uh, Europe in Australia we have much more favorable condition to, to install the superconductor based ge 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 generator at a very reasonable cost if we can consider this technology. So for lowering the total cost of energy from the wind energy and uh, reducing the dependence of the fossil fuel based energy sources and also more, more important, it's more important that the, the Australian wind power industry and the marine industry advancement I think a highly efficient, low cost uh, magnesium diboride based offshore generator is the only the econ economically viable option. Thank you.